Now first off, thanks for coming to my review of FIREWATCH! That's a really hard name to make sound epic, but we did it! Anyway, moving on. Firewatch is Campo Santo's first ever game where you play as Henry, who's working as a firewatch in a national park this summer while Dark Plot unfolds. There is more to it than that, but that's the basic intro that I can give you here before I tell you more about the game. So let's go ahead and get right into Firewatch. Now, to start with production, Firewatch looks absolutely fucking gorgeous. Almost every environment looks stunning, and almost any backdrop would make an amazing desktop background. And I say that truthfully, I did love this environment. And for a walking simulator, I do really like it when the game has a more memorizing and more beautiful environment, because that makes the walking simulator more enjoyable for me. So let's go ahead and talk about the other aspects of the production. You have okay voice acting. I say that because it is solid and works well, but it could ultimately be better in my opinion. And the sound score does a pretty good job of fitting in with the environment, but it didn't blow me away at any point. It just got me more into the moment in certain areas. So the voice acting and sound score are pretty okay. The environment looks beautiful and there were virtually no technical errors. I can say that truthfully because the only technical error that I got was when I tried to make my rig go to graphics that weren't capable on my display and I got some issues with that. But when I was playing at 1080p on ultra settings, the game ran absolutely fine. I had no errors whatsoever. The game never crashed. It ran perfectly. Matter of fact, they could never patch this and I would be okay with it. So Firewatch came out in a good playable state. And the last thing I can really tell you about production-wise is the length of the game. Now, how long is Firewatch, per se? Well, per se, Firewatch is only four hours long at the max, so you're gonna have to ask yourself if you're okay spending $20 for four hours. I can tell you that this is a better value than buying something like Ground Zeroes for $30, but it's not the best $20 value I've ever seen when I've played better games like Transit, well, not necessarily better, but longer games like Transistor and stuff like that for less than $20. So you're going to have to ask yourself if you're okay spending $20 for a four-hour experience. Me, I'm okay with it on the simple fact that everything else works fine and it wasn't a full-priced game to begin with. If it were higher than $20, I would tell you to wait for a sale. But seeing as how it's only $20, four hours is completely fine. So with production completely wrapped up in a nice little bow, I guess now would be a natural time to talk about the gameplay. Okay, so gameplay-wise, Firewatch is a walking simulator in every definition of the word. Now, I say this because walking simulators have you walking from point A to point Z with a whole bunch of other points in between with a very loose-fitting story to tie it all together. Firewatch does that, but the reason I haven't really liked this genre is most walking simulators that I've watched people play or played myself basically have you walking from point A to point Z with a whole bunch of other little points sprinkled in between to kind of waste your time thing together the very loose story and not having much else to them. Firewatch combats this f by adding a whole bunch of healthy gameplay options to make it feel more like a tangible game. First off, you can talk to Delilah more than you can and most people in almost any walking simulator. Most walking simulators have no dialogue that I've seen. Most of them have been text prompts, so having actual voice dialogue has made this game way more approachable for me. Also, you can find supply caches and get more items to make the area more more maneuverable, so you can find like ropes to rappel down cliffs, find a camera to take pictures of the environment, or get an axe to chop trees down to make a natural bridge for you to walk across. Doing things like this made the game feel worlds more tangible to me and more real, which got me more into the experience, so this is definitely the exception to the rule for me for a walking simulator. With that being said, it's still a walking simulator with a very loose fitting story that has you walking from point A to point B to point C to eventually point Z, so you have to ask yourself how okay you are with that. And not everything in the gameplay works together all the time. I actually got annoyed with how much I was talking to Delilah because it felt like I had to report everything.
Uh, there are, uh, panties. There are what? I don't want to say that word again. Why? Because you're 12? Anyway, jokes aside, gameplay-wise, Firewatch is a breath of fresh air for walking simulators, but this hasn't made me super comfortable with the genre. I'm still hesitant to play walking simulators, but this one has been one of the better ones that I've seen, because it actually got me more invested into what I wanted to do, and felt more tangible as a game to me. So, knowing what we know about the gameplay, let's shift into the story. Now, the story of Firewatch is where you play as a guy named Henry in his 40s who has had a very rough go at life and has basically come out here to get a breath of fresh air and escape from his problems because, you know, that's what you should totally do whenever you have a moral dilemma. Run away from your problems. I do it. That, that's not a good thing to admit in one of these views. Ignore what I said. Anyway... Henry is basically trying to find himself and only has one person that he can really talk to and interact with and is all by himself out here and watching him interact with the environment and actually talk to Delilah and come to terms with what he has to do with his life was an interesting enough plotline to keep me invested. But overall the plotline is really underwhelming because you never encounter another person in person up close except for the very end but you don't talk to that person and the ending is super fucking underwhelming. Like, the ending felt very rushed, like they didn't know how to end the game or actually have a pinhead conflict, so they just gave you an explanation on a little cassette tape, then had you walk to the end of the game. That's That was the ending, and it really kind of pissed me off. So all in all, Firewatch is a solid story, it's okay, but it's not going to be that memorable, and I'm probably not going to remember that much of Firewatch's story come three months from now. I'll remember how beautiful the game looked and how much more accessible of a walking simulator that was for me, but the story is going to be very fucking forgetful. So with all avenues covered, how do I feel about Firewatch overall? Firewatch is a good in-between game to get while you're waiting to be able to afford bigger and better games, you know, like XCOM 2. I really wish I could be reviewing XCOM 2, but my budget dictated that I only had about $20 to buy a game to review this month. So, fuck it, we're reviewing this game. Anyway, Firewatch is a nice in-between game to play while you're waiting to get better games. That being said, it's still a good game on its own, and for an indie dev's first game, I really applaud them for how beautiful the environments look and how much they did to make a walking simulator more accessible. But overall, I didn't fall in love with this game. I really like this game. It's a solid game, but it's not a groundbreaking or amazing game. So that's why Firewatch is going to get... A 7 out of 10 for me. I say that because it's a solid game, I had fun with it, the story was okay, everything was all around well done, but it was never hitting it out of the park, minus the environments. So that's been my opinion on Firewatch, let me know what you think of it, if you're gonna buy it, or if you're gonna wait to buy it, or if you're not gonna buy it, I genuinely wanna know. So tell me that in the comments, and I'll see you in whatever video I do next. Bitches.